Hi everyone, this video is once again about freelance translation, but more than that, it's about doing good work. Now I've talked before about doing good work because you want to do work that you can stand by. So you don't want to have to make this choice, but if you have to make a choice of delivering something on time or a bit late, but making sure it's perfect, even if people say, oh, we need to translate it, but not edited, not proofread, don't worry about that. At least for me, I prefer to do that because once you send something out there, if you made any mistakes there, it'll have your name attached to it. You should always do the best work you can. And now I'm going to give you even more reasons for that. Now this actually relates to a video I saw, which I'll get to. First, I just want to get my point across and then I'll tell you how it relates to this video. Now, obviously you should always, you know, do a good job. Your parents were right in telling you you should always do a good job. But many times you might have the option of doing two jobs, but they're kind of rushed or just one job and it takes longer, but then you'll get paid less, right? Because it's only one job. Or why should you care so much about always putting good stuff out there? First of all, you know, you can be proud of it, stand by it, all that good stuff. But mainly, talking from a purely selfish point of view, let's say, you can then use a pretty cool calculation or equation in order to really start earning a lot more by doing comparatively not as much more work. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you that this relates to a video by Tony Robbins. He does have some pretty good points out there. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by him or paid. I have no interest in, in him or what he offers at all. But he does have good advice every now and then. I'll link to the video that I'm talking about down below. It doesn't talk about freelance translation at all. It talks about business in general but I do really think it ties into this. He basically draws this column where he has three different main points for growing your business. What are the best ways to grow your business? First of all, you could charge more. Second of all, you could have your clients come back more often. And third of all, you can have more clients. So these are three different ways to grow your business. What he shows is that if you just decide to charge, say 30% more, and if you can find a way to have clients come back 30% more often and then if you can find a way to increase new clients by 30 percent then all of these are only 30 percent but you've increased your business by 100 percent or more you can do all three very often at the same time charge clients more have clients come back for more come back more often and use them to refer other new clients and he shows you through these equations how you can have small steps here and there that can actually all put together increase your business by a lot Coming back to translation, the best way to ensure all of that happening is to have superb translations. Be dependable, someone that clients can depend on, great quality, because then guess what? You can charge them more. The clients will come back to you because you're definitely better than the competition and you can get more referrals. A way I like to do this, I know I've mentioned it in the past, is in my invoice, I'll offer a discount of say 10% or something for every successful referral that the client sends me. You can keep the client happy and use that to grow your business. Maybe you can charge them only 10% more, but you'll have them come back 50% more times. You can use that equation because all three points can have you increase your business by a whole lot. Look at the video of Tony Robbins. He goes through the actual equation and through the numbers, so I won't do that. But it is pretty interesting as a concept. And if you can tie it to your translation and to what you're trying to do, it can really show some good benefit. In fact, that's what I'm working on now, and I want to try to use this knowledge or this method that he has to try to increase my business. So I'll let you know how that goes as well. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I just thought it was an interesting point that he made, and I thought it tied pretty well into translation and freelance translation. So that's about it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please feel free to subscribe, and you'll get more videos straight to your computer screen talking about freelance translation and helping you out with tips and tricks. Also, please click like because that helps out, helps me out. If you have any questions or if you feel like I said something wrong or left anything out, then feel free to let me know in the comments as well. I read all the comments and I reply when I can, so feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Savedum.